What's up everybody, this is DJ Jordan Nelson and today I've teamed up yet again with idjnow.com to give you guys a quick look at a cool little USB live sound mixer that is perfect for those of you that are trying to get online and go live with your DJ mixes, your podcasts, your performances, and any other creative outlet that you are trying to put on the internet while you have some free time on your hands at home. Before we get into this video though, make sure that you follow IDJ now, subscribe to their channels because you're not going to want to miss all the awesome content they've got coming, including from yours truly. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, but let's not waste any more time. Let's take a look at what we've got on the review table today, which is the Mackie Pro FX 6 V3. This is a compact, portable, and affordable six channel mixer that can be used for a wide variety of applications. Now, the first question you may be asking yourself is, Jordan, why would I need a live sound mixer? I don't do music for bands, which is the obvious first choice for this if you need to do a small singer-songwriter duo or mic up a keyboard for you know an open mic night, which is what I use one of these for. Uh, Jordan, I don't do that. I don't need one of these mixers. But that is not the only use, I say. These have a lot of applications outside of live sound. For example, live streaming, which is the big one right now. We'll talk about that in particular. Now, besides the obvious live sound and live streaming applications, there's a whole host of other places you could use a mixer like this. For example, this could be your wedding ceremony system. This could be a cocktail hour system. This could be a backup system so that you could plug in some microphones and an MP3 player should you need to if your main system went down. This could be a way to hook up two DJs at a party if your mixer doesn't have a second set of inputs. And this could be a way to do a podcast and a whole bunch of other awesome ideas. And one of the great things about buying a mixer like this is that it has so many uses. Now, I'm a big fan of these mixers in particular, the Pro FX series, because I've used the Pro FX uh, V2, the second generation one for the past year, and it has been a workhorse. I've used it at a ton of open mic nights, talent shows, along with my DJ company, and uh, it's just handled everything I've thrown at it. I'll be honest, I haven't kept it in a good case, and I've abused it a little, and it's held up to the abuse. It sounds amazing, and for the price, I don't think you can beat it. This new V3 series improves upon the last series. It gives you better mic pre's, uh, more features that the previous versions didn't have. They bundle it with uh, softwares, and there really is a lot of awesome things that we're gonna look at today. So, in this video, what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna take this out of the box. I'm gonna give you a top-down look at the mixer itself so you can see all the inputs and outputs. I'll tell you about what I like about it, the, the features that I use. Then we'll show you how to get this set up to live stream so you can be live streaming in a matter of minutes after you receive it. And then we'll talk about again who this is useful for and why I think it's a great purchase. All right, so let's take a look at the mixer itself and we'll start with the construction. Metal top plate, metal front, metal bottom, and then hard plastic sides right here with the uh, ProFX logo on the side. It's a great looking piece of gear and it's really, really well built. My ProFX 8 V2 uh, has held up to, like I said, a year of solid use, going out pretty often, beat up, it uh, hasn't been in a case, I will admit, and it looks great. So I can definitely attest to these things holding up to the test of time, and they really are well-built pieces of gear. All right, so let's take a look at all the different ins and outs and the features that this mixer has to offer. The first two channels have an XLR one quarter inch combo input. It's really nice to have the flexibility to use either connection, depending on the situation you're in. You don't have to worry about adapters going that route. And below the input is a high Z button. You can click this button if you want to plug in a guitar or a bass or some other kind of instrument where the impedance and the levels don't match, this button will solve that for you and you won't need a DI box to plug in an instrument. Great feature to have. Low cut right here if you need to remove the low end so to clean up your vocals or on instruments that don't need low end reinforcement. You've got your gain here with a U for unity marked in the middle. Below the gain you have a two band EQ. Again, this is one of the smaller mixers, so not a ton of EQ options, but for the form factor, it's nice that they have both a high and low. So if you've got something that you need to take out a little bit of highs or boost a little low or vice versa, you can do that. At the bottom of the strip, there is an FX button. This will allow you to add the effects from the effects engine to that channel if you'd like. So let's say you have a mic on this channel, you wanna add some reverb, boom, you can do that. Second channel is a guitar, you don't want reverb, you don't have to. And then at the very bottom you have your level, which would be your volume for the individual channels. One feature that this V3 has that my V2 doesn't is this really cool stereo pan button. So let's say you plug your DJ mixer into left and right, 
uh, channels one and two, you can click this and this will automatically pan the left channel here and the right channel here for the output. So channel one will go to the left output, channel two will go to the right output. So you have a true stereo image there. Really cool feature, I'm glad that they added that. Channels three and four are up here. These are a line level input. You can use balanced or unbalanced cables. Line, channel three or line three is here, line four is here, or you can use them as a stereo pair. And then channels five and six are this auxiliary line in. So that would be a stereo combo input, your typical aux cord if you wanna plug in an MP3 player or something else that has that connector. Below the line input is the volume for channels three and four, and below that is the volume for channels five and six, the line input. Up at the top, you also have a headphone output so that you can listen to what's coming out of your mains if you want to monitor. And you've also got your main outputs with your quarter inch balanced or unbalanced outputs and hallelujah XLR outputs. This is huge. DJ's XLR is the way to go and to see this output on a mixer this size and this price is fantastic. These are gonna be way better for long cable runs, they're gonna be less interference, and they're just kind of the standard professional option. So I like that they have the uh, XLR outputs. Below that, we're gonna skip over the effects for a second. We have the main meters right here, so this will allow you to monitor your volume level. Above that is a button for phantom power, so if you wanna use a microphone that requires phantom power in these channels, you can click that on and get your 48 volts. You've got your meters to see where your level is at. You've got a break button, which will mute everything if you need to catastrophically mute things all of a sudden, or just make sure no one's talking on the mic between acts, you can do that. Here's your master level control, your master volume. And then we've got our effects unit right here. So you've got 24 different inbuilt effects. This doesn't need to be hooked to the computer to use these, totally standalone. And there's just a bunch of different reverbs, delays, echoes, all sorts of professional echo, uh, effect options. If you wanna add those to vocals or instruments, you just twist the knob to click the uh, effect you'd like, push it down, and you're good to go. You can also mute the effects with this button, and you can, like I said, assign those effects to individual channels over here with the effects buttons. These two buttons right here would be how much of the effects you're sending to the main output, You've got your headphone volume right here, and then you've got a headphone blend knob here. This is really cool. You can actually monitor what's going to your PC out of the USB output and what's coming out of the mains on the mixer, and this little knob will allow you to blend the balance between the USB and the XLR outputs. Really cool feature. Flipping up to the back, not a lot going on here. You have your power switch, you have your power lead where you would plug in the included power cord and you have your USB output. Now, while we're talking about what's included with this mixer, I'll set that off to the side. You're gonna get, obviously, your user manual. You're also gonna get this right here and they include uh, demos or access to a light version of a couple softwares that you can use to record and you're also gonna get your USB cable, so that's included, a nice long one, I might add, which is always nice. And you're gonna get your power cable, which is in here, standard power brick, and that has everything you need to get going. And what's even more cool about this is that it's locking, so you can just put that on right there and twist it down, and that's not gonna get pulled out in the middle of a show. How great is that? Okay, so now you've taken a little tour of all the features and the inputs and outputs of the mixer. Let me show you how I would set this up for a live stream. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is get it on a nice surface, get it plugged in to power. You need power to get things going. After that, you're gonna take the main outputs from your DJ mixer, whether they be XLR or quarter inch, and you're gonna run them into channels on the Mackie Pro FX6 V3. You could use channels one and two as a stereo pair using the XLR inputs. You could use channels three and four with the combo uh, right, left, quarter inch inputs. You could even use the aux input if you have a smaller mixer that only has, for example, RCA outputs. You could use an RCA to 3.5 millimeter cable. Whatever you do, plug in your inputs. After that, you're gonna run cables from the Mackie outputs to your sound system. This will allow you to rock out while you're mixing, hear the music as you mix in the room that you're in so that you don't have to do everything through headphones. You can actually get in the zone as you would at a normal party. Then the last thing you're gonna do is run a USB cable from the USB output of the mixer and plug it into your laptop. Your laptop will automatically recognize the mixer, it's plug and play, it will download the drivers and set the settings that you need. All you'll have to do is choose your streaming software of choice, click the Mackie Pro FX from a drop down menu and select it as your audio input. 
it's that easy. Purchasing a USB audio mixer is in my mind the best way to get clear audio for your live streams. This is gonna be a piece of gear that you don't have to be limited to using during the stay at home times. You can take this out after everything's settled back down and use this in a whole host of applications. You can make money with this and get a ton of miles out of it after all of this craziness is over. You don't have to buy a specific niche product that you can only use for a few months at home and then you'll throw in a drawer and forget about. This is gonna be something that can make your business money for years to come. If you wanna pick one of these up, you know where to find it, idjnow.com. They're gonna get you a fantastic price on it. These are affordable. You're gonna to wanna to add one of these to your arsenal. Now, when you get it, it's important that you protect your purchase. And so they've got these really cool hard cases from Clutch. Uh, they sent me one of these with the mixer to see how it fit in there. It fits perfectly. It's got this awesome eggshell foam. It comes in this nice heathered gray. It's embossed. I mean, you're going to feel like super luxe, super fancy with one of these guys. And it's going to keep your gear nice so that it looks good. Impressions are everything to your clients and uh, you want to make a good one and you want to make sure your gear runs for years and years to come. So this is a clutch, uh, what is this called? The clutch deluxe hard shell case. These are affordable as well. Get one of these to go along with your mixer. You won't regret it. Last but not least, you already know, subscribe, comment, like, follow, share this video. Tell us what you think of this mixer. If you've used one and you've had a good experience with it, I'd love to know about it. My name is DJ Jordan Nelson. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.